you going? I'm going to work. Where else am I going? I'm late for work. Hey, I love that toolbox you got there. What do you want for it? How about some candy? Yeah! Well, that was like taking candy from a baby. But wait, I gave him candy, so... Wait, what? So upcycling has become pretty popular these days. And a lot of people ask me, they say, Hey, Tom, how can I make a cooler stuff from a junk locker you? Well, they're Italian, you know. Well, today's your lucky day. Because I'm going to show you how to turn something simple into something really useful and cool. These toolboxes are available at garage sales, estate sales. In fact, your grandfather probably even has one in his basement right now. Why don't you give him a call? He's been asking about you. Here's the toolbox that I stole. I mean, I traded that little kid for. It's a bit grimy. The toolbox, not the kid. It even has a piece of gum or something stuck to the bottom. The goal here is to clean it up, but not too much. I thought about painting it, but then decided to keep as much of the character as I could. And I couldn't achieve the look that I wanted with paint. I'm going to use sandpaper to clean it up, then give it a medium dark stain. After cleaning it with sandpaper and blowing off the dust, I'll give it a wipe down with paint thinner. Here's a tip. Pour some of your paint thinner from the big can into a condiment bottle. It's much easier to dispense this way. I use the paint thinner for two reasons. One, it cleans the dirt and grime. And two, it pre-treats the wood so that the stain will take evenly without blotching. Here you can see how the stain highlights the scratches and dings from when it was used. That's the look that I was after. For the finish, linseed oil will be perfect. Here's some that's over 50 years old that I bought from an estate sale. I love the artwork on the can. Well, it still looks good to me. So that was the lab portion of the show, and now it's time for the lecture portion. So there's four keys to being a great upcycler, or as I like to say, alley picker. Number one, creativity. The key to upcycling is being creative. There's a real sense of satisfaction you get when you take something that's unloved and you give it a new lease on life. Make something great out of it, a new purpose through your own creativity. Number two, vision. You gotta have some vision. I mean, what else can this toolbox be? You can turn it upside down, add some legs, make a small table out of it. Or you can hang it on the wall in your laundry room or your bathroom and you can make it a towel bar. Hang it in your shop, put some clamps on it. So lots of things you can do with this. This is not just a toolbox. Number three, responsibility. Upcycling shows an appreciation for what we have. My grandkids, who you often see in my videos, well, they love going alley picking with me. I take them to garage sales, estate sales. It teaches them frugality, and it keeps them off of the screens for at least a couple of minutes. Four, the environment. Upcycling saves you money, lowers your consumption, and reduces landfill waste. So it sounds like a win, 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 win. I decided to use it as a towel bar and a double shelf. It's fast, it's simple, and it's very useful. Now if you mount something like this, be sure that you screw it into the wall studs or use some wall anchors. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.